Hey guys, it's Dwight from Dwight Pours. Um, I was going to do a little bit of a demonstration this morning of how I mix my paints for my, um, what do I call it? Double puddle dump and pour. There we go. I'll get it out, which I'm going to do a little bit later this afternoon. Um, as you can see, I've already mixed three paint colors up. I have 24 karat gold, sapphire, and festo green. And these are all with um, Deco Art. Uh, these two are extreme sheen, and this is just the Deco Art metallics. So I want to mix another one for you to show you how I mix them up. I use these um, two ounce bottles of Deco Art extreme sheen, and this is amethyst. And so I shake them up as instructed on the bottle, actually, and I pour it, just empty it into a cup. Um, this cup here is just filled with some purified water from the local grocery store um, in the big old gallon jug. And I use that to add to thin my paints. So I get as much out as I can. Pop the bubble. And then I just put a little bit of water in here to get the extra paint out so I'm not wasting part of the bottle. Sometimes it sticks inside. Again, I shake it up. And then I just pour out the rest. So what I use to, to measure my flow trawl is I have these, let me find you a clean one here. These little one ounce, like little measuring cups or like um, you can get these at um, on Amazon. They're not that expensive. You can get like a whole bunch of them. So I have a whole stash of these. And what I do is I, um, this is my flow troll, which is just your regular flow troll. I use this as a strainer because sometimes it has stuff in there so that I don't want clumps and lumps. But I just fill up two of these, pour it directly in, Again, and I have my stir sticks as much out as I can. Then what I use is I use a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium. And I just do like a little drizzle. Hopefully you can see that. Just, just a little bit. That's enough. And then I just mix it all together. Now, sometimes paints are, are thicker and they require a little bit more water. Like the 24 karat gold, I've had that problem. I've had to usually add more and more water. The amethyst here is looking pretty thin. Um, so I use my little syringe here, which I think is a tablespoon of water. And it's almost exactly where I need it. And I just mix it in. It's pretty good. Now, last time I tried to show you, it didn't go very well. So let me see if I can stand up so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. So here's my paint. Let's see how we can... It might be a little thick, if you can see it going in there, but I make it, <laughs> I'm not very skilled at this. I'll probably make it just a little bit thinner. Okay, I hope that made a little bit of sense. Um, and when I do my dump paint, which I'm gonna be using just your Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White, um, I make that a little bit thinner than these paints here. So I'm gonna put another tablespoon in. That looks good. And that's basically what I do. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, let these sit for a while. I'm probably gonna cover them, let them sit for a couple hours 
to get some of the bubbles out. I don't know if you can see it's all the bubbles that get in there. Um, I know I stretch it a lot, so uh, some of the bubbles do come out naturally, and then I use my torch. But um, if you have any questions, I, ho I hope that makes some sense, but feel free to leave any comments. I'm going to post this on YouTube, and I will be doing the rest of the video uh, a little bit later this afternoon, and I will post that as well. So hopefully we do the um, double puddle dump and swirl. And I will show you the ones that I did at the end of last week. They're all dried now as an experiment. And so today is going to be, again, sort of an experiment, but we will see um, with these colors. They're sort of like peacock colors, and we'll see how they turn out. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, and you guys have a great rest of the day, and we will see you in a little bit.